Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making corned beef hash. If you're thinking of opening a can for breakfast, why not open a can of whoop ass instead? Let's make corned beef hash. I've got a big beautiful Idaho russet potato here. Of course, if you're using leftover corned beef, chances are you have some leftover potatoes in which case you can skip this step. Either way, you're going to need about two cups of pretty finely chopped potato pieces. Kind of the key to hash is a pretty fine chop on everything, about like this. The potatoes are going to break up more when you cook them into a hot skillet with a little oil. I want a situation, but don't want to stop. A little salt and pepper, and really any other seasonings you want. Here's a little water, and I'm just going to cover and let them steam and simmer until they're almost as tender as I want them. Get the lid off so the water evaporates, and here's some finely chopped onion and the corned beef. Let's hash this up. Hash is a personal thing. It's like toast. Some people like their toast barely golden, while others like it practically burnt. I like my hash like I like my toast nice and crispy. And speaking of crispy, a crispy buttery English muffin to scoop up those tender potatoes and crispy bits of corned beef is delightful. A crack of pepper, a little salt. This is fresh thyme, but you don't have to. If you want to serve this with eggs, and you do, you really do, you can make little wells in the hash. Crack eggs into the wells, then cover until the eggs are set to your liking. Pretty much mandatory around these parts, a poached egg on top. Fried over medium never hurt anybody either. Mmm, I love tradition. Might get kicked off MasterChef for this one. I can handle it. Get the corned beef hash recipe at averagebetty.com. So next time you have leftover corned beef, or you just feel like kicking some serious breakfast butt, I hope you'll give my corned beef hash a try. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm.